I think like watching the game last night, the Wales, and with it being so close to the pitch, you get a different sense. I, I enjoyed it to be honest, to being back down close to the pitch and just I don't know. It's different through through the T V and you know what I I was thinking about this on the way home. Um it's quite mad that you as a former Wales captain were just in the, the, the great unwashed cheap seas with me watching that game last night. Uh, I, well, I have to confess, I did have like my allocation in hospitality. Okay. I ate there, I took the free food as well as late coming over. And then I said, I'm gonna go and, I'm gonna go and sit with my mates and take it in. Do you think the likes of Beckham, Shearer, Different, it's England different, game. isn't it? It's different, it's different. They probably, I don't they might do. They might have done. Um, but I think it's different. Wales and England's different. I also wouldn't be your mate if you just fucked off in the hospitality all the time. What, like Joel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I did get me free food. I'm not going to lie. Good job. So, I don't know what it was. Some potatoes, veg, and something. Something. Weren't the best, I have to say. Wrexham's. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rarell's going to be better. Up. And yeah, it, <laughs> it, it, it needs to do better. Ryan. Yeah, good. it was a good performance from Wales. It was mo- a bit of a Wales B team, wasn't it? Charlie Savage getting his debut, put in a mad performance. Really good, yeah. What, I think he got one assist. I've seen his dad afterwards. Did you see his dad? He yeah, I, I literally, as I was walking in, I saw the team, saw Charlie was getting his debut. And I thought, I better see Rob. I always run into Robbie all the time. I thought, I better see him. And of course I see him. He's wearing a full-length fucking white coat, isn't he? Because of course he is. Come on, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> it was white puffer down to the ankle. Rep- representing Macclesfield, <laughs> as always. I love it. I love how much he's for it. It's mint. Um, but yeah, I saw Robbie. Um, um, I mean, he, he put in a brilliant performance. He was 134 passes. 94% accuracy, 143. Yeah, it was a comfortable game, but he did he did better than... And he didn't sideways it only. There was obviously a lot of sideways passing, keeping the ball, because it was basically an attack versus defence drill, wasn't it? But he was, he was putting balls into the box in dangerous areas, but they were good balls. Yeah, yeah he was good. I, I think, I might be wrong, but I think he was supposed to go back to the 21s now. Yeah, and he's not. And they've kept him in the squad. So fair play to him, so... I mean, They've I got Croatia Sunday. To yeah, and I don't, I don't think he's going to start, I'm guessing. But he's obviously made an impression. And that's the point, is when you get your chance, whether it be for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, I think he's a really game, intelligent footballer, mate. I think the, Enter Sandman. I mean, technically, the technically is there. He needs Enter Sandman, don't he? All day. In his catalogue. The one thing I wanted to see, because I was sitting with Joe last night, the one thing I want to see is him, the one thing I wanted to see from him last night, it's not that he didn't do it, it's like he didn't, Gibraltar didn't do it, so he never had the chance. But I wanted to see him like stop a break. Like, like, they didn't fucking him. break. No, that's what I mean. But from a, a number six, you know, from a deep line playmaker like that, I wanted to see him maybe like snuff out a bit of trouble. Yeah, but, but I, I don't really think he to. did. He just did what he had to do and, and a bit more. I was gonna say, I think I think saying he did what he had to do is a bit like he had double the passes. Yeah, yeah and, and a bit more. He did well, I have to say. Didn't, and he's had a good start to the season as well. And I also like the fact that he. I was thinking about this on the way. I'm like, if you're him, you've got him and you've got Hannibal. And then obviously he played a few preseason games, didn't he? And he was captain for one or something. I don't know if that was because they knew he was leaving. But he he took the plunge, which we see so many players not do, Go and hang around great, forever. Dude. He looks like he's flying. He's flying there. It's a good club. It's probably a good part of the world to live in. He's enjoying himself. And I think fair play to him. And now he's got his call up. And he just took that. So now... That guarantees that he's now part of the first team for the foreseeable future. He's just changed the manager's opinion in 90 minutes. Because like I said, yeah, the, the whole, the first thing that I saw like, come out after the game last night was there's a bit of confusion now whether Charlie's going to be, are they playing, is it Czech Republic they're playing? I'm not, the 21s, I'm not sure who they've got. So the 21s, I think they're playing Friday, I think. So he was supposed to go with a 21, but the, the performance, like, I think, did he get one of the match? I'm, I don't know. It was in Alberta, I think. Probably that was the standout. He would have got mine, I reckon. Charlie Savage would have got mine. I could see Dan James being given XD on goal and assist. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he outshone them too. That's what you expect from him against Gibraltar. Do, do you know? Do you know where my thoughts were going as well? Is you mentioned it here, and I seen it somewhere else. So, a tournament for the lowest ranked teams. Visionary, I've told you that. A tournament for the lowest rank. They're what are they? They're low. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Don't know why I, know that. I think it would be shit. 
But if you still put, you know, I know they'd come out and play a bit more. Yeah, because the, is this night, a world just, for you? Is this a world thing as well? So a World Cup of the lowest ranked? No, I would tear it. So you maybe have the top fifty or sixty try to get into the top thirty-two for the World Cup finals, but then sixty to one twenty, that thirty-two try and compete for like your Europa Conference or something. Will it, like uh, so would it be the same tournament? No. Because I was just thinking, why don't you just take the shittest 10 and just put them in Group A and Group B. Fifth place goes home. One place for A, B, like that. Get a winner of the... Like, I think, so what is it? 200, 200 teams. The top 180 compete for three competitions. The World Cup, the World Trophy, the World Conference, right? And it's the 60 teams in each rank and they have a little qualifier and then the 32 teams go to a final and then your Maltas and Gibraltars and your Andorras. Can I just quickly Google it? Who's got win something? I just want to see who, who, that, who it is. Because I reckon Wales were probably top four is most of the time you were playing from, I imagine. So you probably, no, wouldn't, yeah, we was, you probably we... wouldn't have ever dropped down low enough to compete in the second one. So I think it's a fine thing for a team like Wales, which is a smaller nation, to be competing for Euros, trying to get to the knockout stage, trying to get through the groups. That's fine because you're a big enough nation with big enough players. Those kids in Gibraltar... Okay, so there's 207. SMR, San Marino. You're looking at the very bottom rank. Yeah. and Right, the very, very bottom rank. And it's Just really... Like but you can have... You've got to be at least in the top under an eight to start with. Getting in now, nah, get them. I just think put 10 in there. Somalia v Tonga. Now, you'd watch that. That's something you'd watch. In fact, I know you well enough. Gibraltar v Tonga. You'd watch it. Some good rugby league players from Tonga. Yeah, we're talking about football, though. Big boys from talking Tonga. Football. Gibraltar were poor, I thought, last night. But I know that they are part, I think they're part time, aren't they? David Tua, the boxer. Was he a Tonga? I don't know. I've never heard of him. Look, you gamer. Is it one of these boxers that you think you'd bang out? No. Okay. No, David Tua, I think, did he fight Mike Tyson? We're asking, we're asking millennials. We're asking children. No, no, we? yeah, basically. We're going to get, we're going to get into the Premier League. Maybe. My boys, one on a weekend. Yeah, so, who's shirt you wearing today? And what's your future plans for the shirts that you're going to be repping? Me Same old boy was a United fan last week for wearing the... Uh, yeah, they really liked me. It was really last week. Yeah. The United fans liked me last week. Probably going to hate me today. But I'm a gunner because they won. What I'm that guy. To her? I chased the clout. Samoan. Did he fight Mike Tyson? Yeah. I've already oh, forgot what see, I've knowledge, already forgot what we was talking about. Where he's from? What knew he fought? What was we saying? Samoa v what? Someone. Tonga versus Gibraltar. So what was it about Samoa? What? I thought because I thought David Tua was Tongan. David Tua. <laughs> <laughs> Why is David Tua getting so much air time oh, no. today? Did he beat Tyson? Who is the fella? Call him. You've got his number, probably. I haven't got his number. You could get it, though. Look at him. Jesus Christ. Exactly. So he's got muscles in his forehead, isn't he? Yeah, that's not Audley Harrison. No. Look how wide his head is. That's a right dome, that is. All right, but the fact that he's not even from the country we're talking about means it's even more irrelevant. He was called the Tua Minator. It's a good name. It's a good name. Uh, let's have a look. Record. Oh my God, we're when going did to they fight Mike Tyson. They've gone. Everyone's left us. Um, do you know what? Not asked. Give a Lost fuck. the Lennox Lewis. Could you not give a fuck? Uh, they like, fight so fight he was shit. 72% knockout rate. Record of 55 and 2. Mm. Not 52, 5 and 2. All right. Well, well, good for him. He still didn't make our tournament, so. Yeah, fair play. Kind of irrelevant. But... So, go on, why are you wearing. Is, a, is that a, a swap season as well? To swap? Yeah. It's just because I like Arsenal. This I'm week. Going for the league. <laughs> We're going for the league, me and Joel. How much is it pissing you off, though, on the weekend? Yeah. A little bit when you was losing. Oh, when you had were losing? And, uh, uh, and I jumped ship straight away. <laughs> Instantly over to Arsenal. Even Joel Frust weren't happy with me. Frustratingly watching Arsenal beat City, yeah. I think questions have to be asked about Pep. Don't ever, don't you dare. Why? He'll win it. 
I hope he does. They still win it. It's him. Or I might go with what you're going with and say, I've always liked Spurs, actually. I told you. <laughs> Did I not tell you? It's and the first. I told you, and is the man. How funny is it, though, if Harry Kane spending his whole life at Spurs gets called Spursy forever, goes to Bayern Munich, they lose to Lincoln to Union Berlin for, like, how's that happened, and Spurs win the Premier League. The, is that not if, hilarious? Do you know, that is, that's one part of it, which is brilliant. And the other part would be if Arsenal finished second to Spurs. <laughs> but I can't, I couldn't even imagine what's going to happen right there. But that's like apocalypse of the funny, world. It's funny. Imagine. I'll bring, I'll bring sunglasses to vibe with five. It's mad there's like Arsenal fans have beat City happy and still can't be that happy because Spurs are still, <laughs> like, it's just, a, it never works out for them, does it? Uh, and I'm here for that. So when, where's the shirt from? That's a nice shirt, actually, that one. That's a nice one. I only wear the, good, the nice ones. I didn't wear, like, uh, I liked the Manchester United shirt that I had on also. So what's the move going to be every week? Whoever you're feeling, you're wearing that shirt. Have you seen that little, like, compilation where Drake just wears whatever city is in? That's me, basically, whoever's winning. So it'd probably be Spurs next week. Have you got Spurs one? Yeah, I've got one of every team. Probably. The Spurs ones? I don't know if but... What's that Russian player? I've got one of his. Ah, oh, Pavlachenko. Have I just made that name up? No. Roman. No, it's the real guy. I've got one of his. Got a couple. Aaron Lennon. Adebayo. Aaron Lennon lives around here now. I don't know where it is. I wouldn't disclose it on the uh, on the show if I did. Um, I'm just gonna go for whatever I feel like on that day. And today it's Arsenal's week, so I'm Arsenal because they're second in the league. Come on, the Gunners. No, because they beat City. We're well, fair play. It, I haven't got a Brentford shirt, but I would have got one if she'd have lost. Yeah. But, I, I mean, mean it was, uh, should we leave off? Should we just leave off United this week? Just don't bother with it. Because the one thing that's going to pop up is your goalie, and I'm still backing him. McTomney. I'm still backing him. Don't really care. We're going to have to touch on, on Big H, I think. He's come out swinging. Right. No, I think get I'm, it out. I think I'm correcting my my um get get it out your it. system. Harry Maguire, after his I've nothing to prove wibble last year, has decided now to come out and be like, we get the exact quote. Oh, so about his win win rate is ridiculously high. I don't know where he said this or how this has found. Check the source. Well, the ESPN's the one I've got here, but I don't know where he's actually said this. Um, my record under this manager speaks for itself. I haven't started as many games as I'd like, but my win percentage when I've played is ridiculously high. Now, from my quick look, and I could have missed some here. I don't think you missed a lot. win he played in, I think, was West Ham, which was the 30th of October. The second win he played in was in January. Would it be similar to Charlie Savage saying, I haven't played that much for the Wales first team, but my win ratio is, is really good? No, because I think Harry actually did feature a fair bit in that run in January and February. He's been sort of brought in and, in and out of the team. I don't want to talk about him that much. I'm going to be honest. I think he's saying, like, just come you out. You can't look at your performance last year and be like, He's had, enough of, he's, had, today, he's had enough of people talking about him. But this doesn't help. Maybe he, he likes it. Like, Maybe he likes it then, I don't know. Maybe he likes it. Maybe he wants to keep his name in the press. You don't get a lot of All the time. At Everton. Copped a bit. Was it, was it similar Copped to this? a bit. Didn't come out saying any of that. Did you ever come out addressing any of it? Don't really give a fuck. Sound? They're going to say what they're going to say. Well, I'm just going to do, try and do my best. If it's good, it's good. If it's shit, it's shit. Okay, but your opinion, your opinion. As a statement, is better than the I have nothing to prove. My win rate. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. He's, I don't feel like he's helping himself. Um, you're going to start for England again, and then you, you're definitely going to put a message in the group again about that. Is it squad? You can't leave it. You can't leave it every time. Ward Prowse isn't. Raheem Sterling's not. Have you have you noticed? Have you just seen Raheem Sterling this season? Because I'm really enjoying him. 
Yeah, and I panned him last year because I think he's shit, but I'll give him his due. He's doing all right this year. Right now, he pisses all over Marcus Rashford. Okay. All over him. Marcus has got a bit of a... Right now, right now, though, mm. I'm saying. A bit of an accuracy problem at the minute. Well, it's just Raheem Sterling is very sharp, very sharp off the mark. Yes. The stutter and go is yeah, like... I've got, I've got nothing to counteract that. I, I agree. Why is he not in the England squad? Do you think... I, I was thinking about on the way here. Maybe he's dropping bangers in the dressing room and that. Maybe. And like Gareth Southgate's come in with a waistcoat and gone, yeah, oh, what's this? And he's gone out oh, as Bob's cartel or whatever. <laughs> and he went, I'm not having that. And they've had an argument and they and he's, he's like, you know it's carpenters in the photo match. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us that. Why would you not pick him? Makes no sense to me. Uh, how many times have I said Gareth Southgate's team selection is who's in his WhatsApp group? That's it. I mean, I, I just not, Eng not England is not my team. Like, like, obviously, I played for Wales, but it just looks fucking insane. And I'm sick of talking about it, but it needs to be brought up because what we're we doing? What we're we doing with this with this selection? He's had the opportunity to win stuff in the palm of his hands and just... Do you think Ward Prowse has just flipped out somewhere, like in his house, in the back spare room, yeah. smashed it? How's he not... Fuming. How's Calvin Phillips getting... That is fuming. I like Calvin Phillips, said it many a time. He's a great lad as well, but like... Can't pick him. There's not an argument to pick him over Ward Prowse right now. I don't, I, I can't, I don't under-fucking-stand it. I won't put it past him to not play Bellingham. He Fuck might off. be the best player in the world in a minute. No. Can we talk about how good he fucking is, by the way? Yeah, I tried to bring this up uh, to sort of deflect away from Arsenal being so good on Monday. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's uh, ten games, ten goals, three assists, seven. What was that then? Uh, let's let's not underplay. Let's not downplay the the That's impact. Cristiano Ronaldo numbers from midfielder. And I know what's his age. How old is it? Twenty one. He's twenty one. Zero two. Twenty. Zero two. If you flip it, it's twenty. Jesus Christ, man! Imagine when he gets a bit of experience about him. Yeah, tank as well, isn't he? To play championship, I know you play championship. To play championship as a 16 year old, are you playing non league? What, 17? 16, 17. 16. But the championship's different because they're good quality players yeah. as well as physical. As well as being physical. But what, so what's that like playing as 16, playing men's football? Uh, what is a high no, level? No, that was mad. Like, because I, I played in like uh, the one below the conference at the time. So remember, it got to sit in North, yeah, something. Unibond and something else. Or I can't remember what the sponsor was. But it was mad. Good glue sponsor, don't they? Unibond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sort of shit. Getting like such. Uh, Gorilla glue. Getting what? Such. Why do you want? Why are you going to use that for? What? Glue your fingers back together. Yeah, man. Um, Does have my fingers like that? Let's have a look. The bandage is going down slightly. Do you know why it's going down? A bit? Getting less. Well, there's less finger under it than there was. Well, at least they're not stubs. That's true. I don't have. I have a nail on them again. Don't need that. Uh, yeah, back to the topic. The dream 16, of being model's gone. 16, playing in the first team is nuts because you're fresh out of school and there's grizzly men in there that are just kicking the fuck off at each other. And you're just sitting there going, is this normal? <laughs> and then you take that on. And then yeah, you, you go do it. I mean, maybe not at Hellsford, but at, at Birmingham, got 20, 25,000 in the stadiums in the championship and stuff. No. Zero fucks given. I we all thought they were I, off their tits when they retired his shirt. I can't believe, like, I, I didn't, I never doubted him, but, like, doubted this impact. I thought he'd, I thought he'd be a good player, but, like, I mean, you're at Dortmund, now you've gone to Real Madrid. And in a midfield with loads of, like, an unbelievable midfield and just gone, I'll take over this team. This will be mine for What's the that, lumber? Yeah, cool. Yeah, and I'm going to run with it and watch what I do. You're going to forget about Zidane by the time I'm done. Or have we gone too early on it and he's going to... No. No? Okay. He's had the same goals. Cristiano Ronaldo went there as the holder of the Ballon d'Or. Went to a Real Madrid team that's just signed Kaká. And it's, it's just got an unbelievable side. This isn't a great Real Madrid team. And he's gone in and he's put the same numbers in as, as a on-fire Ballon d'Or winning Cristiano Ronaldo did in, in the same amount of games. That's mental. Don't downplay that. From midfield. So if a striker went and did that's mega. If he doesn't start for England... If he starts Jordan Henderson, 
And by the way, why is he still in the squad? Oh, I, I, that's what. That's that's why James Ward Prowse is losing his fucking melon. Like you're picking some fucking Herbert that's playing in the Saudi Pub League over me, playing, smashing it, delivering in the Prem in Europe. So you just call Jordan Henderson a Herbert? Yeah. Good insult, isn't it? It's not offensive. I don't really know what it is. I'm not mad, does it? it works. Herbert. You're a Herbert. It's a name, isn't it? not getting cancelled for calling him, am I? Well, you shouldn't get cancelled for anything these days. Um, if that yeah. comes out, if that doesn't make it, you, that's how heavily censored we are. <laughs> he said Herbert. But you got to think, yeah, it did. I wonder if there is, like, you're not allowed to say... Because we know some of the lads in the England squad watch this. Do you reckon anyone's ever dropped a Do they? Song? Yeah. This? Yeah. Who? Well, they watch five. I know they watch five. Who? Loads of them. Oh. Well, that's not grass anyone up. Does but... anyone enjoy it? Because I only know the ones that moan about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout out to the boys. What? You know from when we see them? Shout out to the boys. <laughs> not before Jenny <laughs> see them. come and say hello. Um, I, I wonder if anyone's ever Do you think they're saying, saying the same shit about the manager and his I gear mean, and all that? No, they are. Uh, I know uh, they are. Uh, uh, I know uh, they are. Uh, uh, I wonder if anyone's ever in a meeting under the breath dropped some really salty crisp reference uh, and saying uh, something. Do you reckon in a meeting one of them's just gone? <laughs> Gareth, where's your waistcoat? <laughs> uh, we're going to start the air, but again, brilliant. <laughs> Uh, where are we? Yeah, oh, we're okay, can fucking sling it. So we we had notes. I thought you had notes, but they're from Never two mind. weeks ago. Are they two weeks? And then I thought, oh, actually, Steve's prepared. He's he's made a new note. Uh, Jonathan, such and such, window cleaner, phone number. It's the prep. That's the prep that we. Who's knew. left that here? That's the prep. Before. Did you not need a window cleaner? Don't, don't read such an email. I if anyone needs a window cleaner, we've got one. You can put it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, give me his number. I'm sure happy days with that. Um, Wayne Rooney's got a Birmingham. Speaking of Birmingham, yeah, seen him yesterday. School yeah. run, yeah, past each other. <laughs> Is Tristan Erickson on your school run as well? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of people on two school runs. I do so. It's a lot. A multi. Johnny Evans is now on the school run. So we don't know where he's popped up from, but he. <laughs> I can, we keep doing this awkward thing where we just go, right. Is it mad because you're all same industry, but don't yeah, fully Yeah, it's exactly that. I, I, yeah, it's something I'm, I'm never comfortable with because uh, no issue with the person, but don't really know them, but do know them. So you have to kind of and let them recognize and then, you. Yeah, and then it the just goes, oh, I, I. and if, you, <laughs> if you're really unlucky and both of us are unlucky, we get caught up in the... House things, and then it's oh, you got the weekend, oh. and then if you know someone in the team, <laughs> oh, how's uh, how's Dave? Hey, good lad, any yeah. <laughs> All right, good luck, yeah. It's uh, well, that's, it's real awkward. Don't know if that happens in anyone else's line of work, but it happens a lot for us. I can't imagine it's. I tell you what, we, I can make a team out of the school run, dads. Go on. Then. I'm not going to start blowing it up and start saying where everyone's kids go to school and everything, but. There's some names. Yeah, I wouldn't in there. expect that. At all. No, there's some names in there. See, anyway, I've seen Waza drive, drive past in the car, and then um, who's got the, the 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 most normal car that you've clocked? Johnny Evans. Uh, the, that I've clocked Johnny Evans, and it's a nice car, but it's it's quite conventional. Who's got the most outrageous? Is it you? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> could be. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some nice cars. They're all. I, well, they're they're all a much of a much. They've all earned it. I know. There's no fucking. They're all a much everyone's earned this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what? What's the team? What? I've pit, I've, no, no, I'm not dropping it. I'm not dropping. It. I'm just saying. There's a lot of school dads that often bump into. And they're all sad. And the footballer belt, isn't it? It's literally known as the footballer belt. There's. So you've got Everton. Did you move that when you played for Everton? Yeah, I lived, I lived over here when I played for Everton, yeah. So you've so got you all the Everton players, Burnley. Liverpool players, yeah, yeah, 30, United, it. Burnley. Any any Birmingham ones come up this, this far? Maybe if they played here previously, maybe? Uh, no, I don't think. I think Johnny Everton was living here when he was playing for Leicester. Yeah, there's. I think Leicester stay up here. Quite yeah. a few Leicester boys. I'm not sure why, but they do. And live in South Manchester. So yeah, Wayne Rooney got the... The Birmingham, is it confirmed? Yeah, and um, I don't know what's happening. So for everyone that's messaging me and asking, 
He took John O'Shea as in the system. And who else he took? Is it Ashley Young? No, I said Cole. Cole. Um, didn't expect that. But we had a live show with um, John O'Shea for the 28th of December. And he's part of Dublin. Well, don't know. Been drew off. Well, they've got a, but we've got a game on the 29th, yeah, so I can't imagine he's going to be fucking turning up there, is it? You just need to try and get someone else. So, uh. And what was awesome, man? That's it. That's it. He didn't look well in today, didn't he? He needs a cuddle and tuck in anything. Uh, so yeah, so I, for, if for all the people asking me, I don't know, we're waiting to find out. I mean, I guess... Do you know, can I just say, do you know, I think it's a bit tight on John Eustace there. I think they're saying fifth. Yeah, why did they, they, they get the bullying? Didn't they get the bullying just because they thought they could get rid of I think, I don't know, Tom Brady's in the mix. They're obviously trying to do something. And then... They've just... They've just been John Eustace. That was my instant thought was like, wow, that's a bit tight, that. They're sixth currently. Did all right in the we championship. Speak. Well, in fact, no, he did. He did really well under the circumstances at Derby. I thought um, not a great record at DC though. No. But I, I think I think he'd be happy days at, at Birmingham. I think that seems decent. I think it suits him, and I think uh, he knows the championship. So, be interesting to see how he goes. From what I've heard, John O'Shea's a really good coach as well. A good lad, mm. actually. Um, just been distracted. Uh, I feel like we've both been distracted a little bit today. Oh, where you go over there? I don't think Wayne... Does Wayne really go in there and do well? In the champ? Yeah. Does he? He does. I think he does. Because you've got your... Get a tune out is, that you, is that because you've got your... Red Devils hat on, which no, you wear. I think looking at which you wear constantly. Did. The job he did with Derby, yeah. I think he's a, a provable good job. However, the one thing I think you could say, which is fair, is that doing a job keeping someone up is different to maybe when you've got to dominate the ball and be expected to win games rather than maybe not what lose the What a bizarre ball. situation. I think we might touch on this going in with Dean Holden before, but like he's now going into a team that's doing all right. So again, what you do is you go in and go, oh, bollocks to what he said. <laughs> oh, we're going to do this. Or do you just go... What's working? Yeah. So just you watch the last three games and go, a team today, boys, is, and just yeah, reel the same, same team. The last guy for time. <laughs> it's tight on the old manager, though, isn't it? You've just, uh, you're just, uh, you've just been sacrificed a little bit for a big name. That's what it is, isn't it? Because he is a big name. Well, he's massive. Because the fact that we're talking about one of the biggest Birmingham names in the world appointed. of football ever. We never mentioned it when Eustace was appointed. So obviously, it's, it's had the desired effect. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. So why didn't you mention John Eustace getting the point in the Birmingham City? I don't know. Maybe we just didn't touch on it. That's the point, isn't it? It really is a big name. Um, he was at him when he was there. He was. You got all right with him? Yeah, it's him. Did I smash with him? Uh, one time. We all went out. It was, a, it, was a, it was a team function. So everyone was there. He was fucking... He had a good go. Drinking red wine on his own, which was funny. Like... Not on his own, but like uh, everyone was drinking, and he was drinking red wine for some reason. But his teeth, mate, was just black. He's like the purpley black. He was swelling. He was on a mad one as well, mate. He was doing all break dancing. <laughs> so we was in a gaff in the city centre. All all the couples and Here the families. In, um, Manchester in Manchester, <clears throat> and um, he just you know when you do a night out with a lot of people and different speeds of. So some people come strong at the end of the night. He went strong early. So he's got the stamina. No, but he went on. <laughs> I don't know if Colleen just whipped him up and they just went or what, but he peaked at about 10 p.m. He was break dancing on the floor and that his teeth were like just all red wine stain, and then he just got himself off. But he's, he's a good lad, to be fair. I think everyone says I've not heard anyone say like he's a bell. No, really. He come in and he was sound. And he was just a, one of the lads. Literally, he's just one of the lads. Lad, I mean, considering what he's achieved but, and how big he is. I'm not going to mention a footballer since we've already spoken about him today. Um, but you know the spot everyone goes to in town now. Most of the footballers are going to in town. You know? I'm more, now, 
Because and now I can't stop thinking about who it is that you've we've mentioned that you're not going to. Sounds like Barry Mamaya. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the lad who sounds like Barry um, Mamaya was there's a there's a gaff in town anyway where everyone goes and um, Barry's rocked up like the fucking president's turned up a jacket over his head and fucking security out to his car and he's running just a... Do you know this for a fact? Yep. And the same night Wayne Rooney's in there and just locking him out. Normal. And that to me says a lot. If. It's, I think that's allegedly that story. No, I'm, I'm just going to throw out her. There's a nice trick. <laughs> you can't get sued for the truth. And especially when you're talking about Barry. Yeah, so why I call Barry. When do England play? You don't like it. You don't like it, I do don't you? care. You don't like it, Who do you? Are they playing this week? Are they playing Australia? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, so Jordan Anderson to get 60 minutes. I don't, like, why would I give a fuck? Uh, but... You know what I, mean? I don't know when it is. So Gareth Southgate can come out and just fucking chat on shit about... Like, Do you know, like, how your, your, your football knowledge, you like to think that it's, it's world, worldly. And it it's world. On, it depends on the topic or on the... I'll try a prediction. 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 Are you having to give one? Is it a friendly? Yeah, it's not, yeah. Friendly. It's not going to be a qualifier, is Japan it? v Canada. Oh, Japan versus Canada. That could be a very interesting game because you've got... A lot of that pace in the Canadian team. I want three. I want three predictions. We're going to revisit it. A Japan team that's extremely technical, but probably lacking a little bit when it comes to goal scoring. I love the fact you've got no fucking idea, but you're going to continue anyway. Go on. You've got no idea. Go on, Ned. I think three, no, two, one, Japan. Where is it? I was just about to find, try and find out for you. I don't, I don't know. What, what, what did Some you say? Fucking trouble, like what did you say? 3 2 Japan. 2 1 Japan. 2 1 Japan. Okay. Another one for you. It, so, okay, here's one that you should know about, really. Being the Fabrizio of South America Argentina v Paraguay. Um, 3 0. No. Uh, could you name six players from the Paraguay team? No. 3 0 no Argentina, you're going. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop that down. One more. Could be silly. I'd go for Vietnam, Uzbekistan, but I, I want to give you a bit of a chance. Saint Vincent and the Gren the Grenadines versus French Guyana. Can you give me a can you give me a prediction on that, please? Please. Um, two one Saint Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> two one's company, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Iraq built, um, so Basra was where I was in Iraq. And Iraq's Sweet built, um, I'm, I'm they've built their national that. football stadium in Basra. I'd love to go. Right, Jake's asked us, he says, United only made a profit on four players. I don't actually know who the four players are. I think Dan James will be one. Hernandez. Can we fill in for more? Yep, and... Uh, oh, have you looked at it, have you? It, it did send. It did, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, fucking two others, I don't know, Raymond van der Howe or someone. So we've only made a profit on four players in the last decade. You've spent more. Yeah, we have. Oh. In the last 10 years, which surprised me. Do you want to tell me why it surprised me? Because of the fucking wibble, wibble, wibble from your corner, you lot, not just you, the rest of you, about everything, fair play rules, this broke, this and all that. And, and you lot have spent more than everyone. It's not true. So more than every other team? It's not true. I mean, it might have been true up until Todd Bowley got, until got in the mix. Ask, yeah, he's blown to take him out, but you spend a lot and you're all over the gap. Yeah. What's the problem? The, the problem is it's been wasted. Can I the owners? The Can I ask this really dumb question, right? Sorry. You know this money that's being spent? Is it being put in from the Glazers? Oh, my God. See, this... I don't, even, I don't know. Right, sorry. So, so let's clear it up. Like United are fuming. So you're looking at that and going, United have spent a billion. Wow, that's a lot of money. A my man with a chimp putting in all that dough. No, no. In my head. Listen, you're going, wow, that's a lot of money. We've spent more than we've spent on transfers, which is a lot, 
on their debt repayment interest. They got a longer loan to buy United. Uh, we spent yeah, can I just say, but this is, it's not going to come out, is it? Because yeah, they will. Because to annoy them. Don't care. This is staying in. Or I'm going to riot. He won't. This, we've spent more. So I've got, so then yeah, taking it. money out of United and then and put, paying it to another debt. Yeah. Oh, that's why you would like mad. Yeah. I thought, I, People think we spent loads on transfers. We spent you, more on debt. I thought you was mad because of his pony. A little bit mad because of his ponytail. A little bit mad. Oh, right. Okay. And they won't sell it. Yeah, and they seemingly don't want to sell it. I mean, it sounds Absolutely like I'm just being, does. I'm being like dumb. But to be honest, as soon as you lot get going on the own, I'll just switch straight off. But this, but your, your reaction is everyone else's reaction. And it's that sort of like surface level knowledge of what's going on where you, you don't actually fully understand. That, that whole meme of get the Norwich scarves out. We were protesting when we was in Champions League finals. Norwich? The green and gold scarves. Why is there lots of them? You, when I went to the game the other day, I've seen them. I mean, I'm, I'm out of the loop, aren't I? I'm out of the loop. Evidently. Green and gold. So United have only made a profit on four players. They're don't, basically... I don't care. The graveyard. I don't care. Another graveyard. But, okay, so it's a graveyard. You can say that. Do we make a profit on Cantona? He's going back so far. Do we make a profit on Rodkin? going back so far. Do we make a profit on Rio? going back so far. Do we make a profit on Carrick? You're going back so far. But the, do we make a profit on Rooney? You, the club's not there to make a profit on players. Loads. The club's there to, and um, we're not we're not doing this side either. We're not you winning. Spent stuff. loads in you. But the whole idea is that you you spent loads in your shit show. Well, yeah. That's true. I, I just have to say like it is. Well, you're not wrong. Spent loads in your shit show, yeah. and you dig Chelsea out for doing the same thing. But Arteta spent loads his first two seasons. Came eighth twice, then fifth, and then this year we'll win it. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Big Philip, Sender, us and the boys, we're going to win it. You and uh, Nelson Vivas. <laughs> I don't even remember it. See? Don't worry about it. Fuck's sake. Who else have they had? Lewis Bow and Marty. Did we play against them? No. Well, he didn't play for Arsenal, did he? Did he? Sure. Well, look, legend. Yeah. I did play against him. Did you? Was it? Not Arsenal, though. Sure he came through at Arsenal. He didn't come through at Arsenal. Well, I don't know. You might be wrong with that. I don't know. Don't. Well, we I, I don't know why I'm testing you because a weird rain man in you just pulls <laughs> shit like this out regular. Do you think he's right? Oh, that's who he's made money on. Dan James, Daily Blind, Hernandez and Smalling. Who was searching? People play better. Lewis. People play better when they leave. That's just... Um, do you know what, though? They do. And I've got no comeback with that at all. You've gone a bit today, I've got to tell you. What do you mean? Your melon's just gone. You don't have to fight anymore. <laughs> You're gone. Well, do you know what? If we'd have lost against Brentford, that'd have been three straight home defeats. And that, I, what, I mean, have you ever, you must have. Some of the I teams would, you've I played, you must have done three straight I'd home defeats. defeats. You're, you could be top of the league and be angry as fuck, so I wouldn't have come in today. There you go. Arsenal. Came through a Sporting. Arsenal. Then Southampton, then Fulham, West Ham. Hey, no like the, the, for the title of this show, what should we call it? Lewis Bermore eh, or that Tui guy from Samoa, the boxer? Good point. Steve and Ash talk about Tui and Lewis Bermore. Eh? Yeah, we incorrectly Viewers a, assign a nationality to, to, to David Tua. Uh, you should take that back because you're going to kick. It's going to kick off between Samoa and, and Tonga. That'd be a the house and yeah, awesome. and I don't want to be in the middle of that fucking fight. So, David Tua looks like he could. Can you apologise to the? To the nation. I apologise to the island nations of Samoa and Tonga and I would love to visit one day. We you see them? Paradise. They are paradise. I know. The thing is, they're living in paradise and they're unit central. I don't get it myself. Fiji's a similar what sort of guy. Eating? Absolute paradise. What are they eating? Everyone's a unit. Loads of Fijians in the army. And you, uh, the, have you ever tried, have you ever tried any of the, the drinks no. that they have out there? No. They have something called Carver, and it's got like grit in it, and like it's, then, it's from the it's called Carver. Your sure. number wasn't that bit. It was the thing that was in it. Grit. The grit. Like grit, like mud, grit. like gr grit. Grit. Floor. Yeah. In the that's what it tastes like. Yeah. But it's from a root on a tree. He said it like that was normal. Grit. No, it's not normal. I'm just saying it's they grit. Yeah. Grit, and you drink it. Yeah, it's like this but cloudy yellow fucking root bark thing, and it fucks you up. I think, I don't know if you're just talking mad shit today. Someone tell me if, if there's a... It's all verifiable. Google it. Grit. Let me look. Is it spelled? I think it's spelled like, is there a wine? I don't drink anything like that. Is it 
like called Carver. I wouldn't be the man for that either. So BG like, and Carver drink. Oh, it's spelled with a K, that's why. So, Carver is a crop from the Pacific Islands. It's from Tonga, means bitter. It's also Hawaii, Fiji, Samoa, all of those sorts of places. And it's consumed throughout the Pacific Ocean and the cultures of Polynesia. Doesn't say it, but it gets you fucked up. Did you drink it? Mm. Was you fuck? Well, I, I play rugby in it, and Fiji and island nations, they're all mad for rugby, you, so it's a really big rugby team thing. It. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, have you ever had... Did you have to down it because it's got a grit in it? Yeah. Have you ever had black vodka? Where it's like, black, black vodka just fucks you up in a way that normal vodka Maybe don't. when I was like 16. It's like that, where you just have an absolutely messy night where people are like, <laughs> are you? And you're like, what? <laughs> 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 so the next day when all you get is... <laughs> You're like, what do I do? And you're like, oh, there's a bus stop and never mind. And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way, so I never read it. Oh, there he is. When people just giggle when you arrive somewhere and you're like, what? Oh, 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 do you remember like that? You're like, yeah. mm, not really. <laughs> what is the great again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carver's a fucking a bad, bad dude. But yeah. International break. No, so that's it. That's it for today. I don't want to talk anymore, do you? No. I think that, that covers, we've covered. So yeah, David Tua. Fuck all. Getting on a smash with Fijians. Uh, Charlie Savage, well done. Wayne really well done, maybe. Kind of, but you did nick someone's job, but wish you all the best. <laughs> I think he had the grit on his teeth that time on a night out. What's your kid's sports day going to look like? All the dads get involved. They don't do a dad's race. Did they not? First year, I'm fucking ready, honestly. Why'd you go with spanks and everything? Limb, wearing, limb, like limb, a, limb. wearing like a, a Limpin' Christy onesie, yeah. ready to go. Wearing, like, who fell before? Was it Jimmy Floyd? That is one. Did he? You never no. seen that one? No. Get out. <laughs> no. Has anyone else? Do I did see? Oh, no. I'm getting it right now. Was, was I'm going to get it right now for you. I don't know if it's a Jamaican or American sprinter, a female sprinter, turned up at the school sports day and just fucking obliterated the, the competition. She could have lapsed up, it was only 40 meters. How have you not seen this? Oh, they brought it up on TV. Oh. John Terry saw it. John Terry saw him. Um, of course he is. Oh, there he is. Which one's he? White t-shirt. Got ya. Pissed it, flying. Someone's about to overtake him. That's why he took a dive. <laughs> he takes a dive. Cause Keith the plumber was doing him, that's why. To be fair, he's in way better shape now than he was there. I was ready first one, and they said no, no parent uh, race. Why? There's one of your one of your players now there, and he probably covers. I'm gonna have to see him today at the end <laughs> tomorrow, but he probably covers about one k in a yeah, game. We know that. If, he's, if he plays ninety minutes, he covers about one k, and uh, I reckon I'll probably do him now. You reckon? Yeah, try just do it and just try and get. It. If you if you ever show me how to work a GoPro and that, which I've asked you about a hundred times, right? Yeah, you press the button. Yeah, I never, I'm always filming the wrong way and all that. And <laughs> I'm just, just not technical at it. One button. I'll, I'll race press, him down. That I'll button. race him down the long path to the score. Yeah, just do him. Yeah, just keep looking at him and just try and get the edge until he starts to jog, and then I'll. What jog. if you rev your own engine like right, that to him? He'll, he'll give me a note. One though, with my mat. Yeah, yeah. Arr. I don't. It takes a lot to get him going, you know. Reckon. I've watched a good few games over the past however many years. You're playing playing. Again. You must have played again. Loads of times. Didn't move a lot. You might as well name him because everyone no, knows. That's one that one that we don't know. name him. <laughs> it's Ron Yeah. Bantony. <laughs> Bantony <laughs> Barshout. <laughs> Hold that one. <laughs> if you feel like someone else. Yeah. It's you never mentioned. I thought it was about <laughs> Ericsson. No. It's sound. Well, I think Marshall might be sound as well. I don't know. All good guys. They're actually two nice guys. They always say hello. Christian Eriksen is genuinely one of the nicest men I've ever come across. From the names you've just mentioned now, and I bet there's several more, isn't there? Martial, Eriksen, Evans, Rooney, you. That's a hell of a dance by the side team, isn't it? There's more as well. There's more. Wow, was that a good goalie as well? <laughs> we gave you a good team. <laughs> anyway. Was it my mate who's in goal? No. I don't think so. Who's your mate? Do you have any? Yeah, hello. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going. See you on the other side of international break. 
Listen. And next week we'll just talk about whatever shy Gareth Southgate's waffle. No, we're not going to talk about that. We, we're going to talk about the new show that I want you to watch, Encounters on Netflix. Encounters on like Netflix. It's it with you. Why? And the audience will want that. Oh, but meanwhile, Way there's... Way more there's... interesting than David Beckham <sighs> dying his head, London getting cane rows. Gives a fuck. And wearing a, a fluffy jumper with no sleeves. Bummer. <laughs> Absolutely couldn't care less. No, I'm not ever going to watch it. What? One documentary would you watch? If someone said, I'm going to commission a documentary right now, I've got a million pound budget, what's the one footballer documentary you go, oh, I'm not Ronald I want all access like, to his life. Even in prison and that? Everything about it. What about, yeah. give me a British player or someone Premier Give me a Barclays era Premier League player. Lee Catamol. Oh, fuck off, man. Um Even Lee Catamol don't want to watch that. Mm. Uh they come or won't even be in it. No, no one. Really? Like, really? Who, who do you want to watch? I don't know, I'm going to think. You don't so we did this on Monday, I think. We come up with some real fucking young ones. Would be all over that. Yeah. But David Beckham, I don't know. It's like legend, isn't it? But what, what is, what's in that documentary? You want, what am I to learn about? Who's got a bit of a, like a mad side to him? That's what you want to know. Bobby you seen Vinnie Jones lately, Bobby by the way? You seen Vinnie Jones, by the way? Do you ever cross paths with Vinnie Jones with Wales? No. no. Was he way before your era? He's so less Welsh than me. Let's have that one. <laughs> That's a low bar yeah, and all, isn't it? Yeah, he's so <laughs> less Welsh than me. He's, at a minute, he's like a big hunting kind of guy. Is I was watching a car hunting? thing the other day about a car that I want to get, and mm. there's a company that, like, um, it? Plug it up. Sashi Car, I can't remember the name of them. Do you want to get a car? I can't remember the name of them. Oh, no, I know the car, but oh, there's a company right. that sort of... I want a, an old-school Land Rover Defender. Okay, so if anyone... So, Model. There's a car company that's sort of done the interior on one, and I'm looking at one. I'm I'm looking at some of the stuff that they've done, and then they fucking pull out an episode on their YouTube channel with Vinnie Jones. And by the way, the interior of the car that he's had done, because you think Vinnie Jones, you're not thinking right, really classy, sorry, but you're not. And the the no, car that he's had done, no, nope. oh. it looks the bollocks. He's absolutely immaculate, and he's got like um, a tray in the back for his guns and stuff, properly going shooting and that. Didn't expect that. No, I didn't. Didn't expect the show to end on that either. No, but I didn't expect anything in this show. That's what we're here for. I mean, people tune in and going, okay. If, I wonder if there's a heads gone bingo. Southgate gets there's a Southgate, Yapstam, Aaron Maguire. Yeah. But no one had David Tui and Luis Bermotti on it today. I don't think Billy Jones is on anyone's list either. No, or that or Saint Vincent against French Grenadine. Yeah, see, you didn't think we would be talking about that preview of that game or I think if you get those three teams the teams I'll give you the teams I've got to go outside of there next week and do something and do it there if you get all three yes if you get all three I'll give you a week to think of something I'll leave here we'll take the camera we'll go outside onto the street now I'll do something we are 41 seconds away from Piccadilly yeah there's Which winning. means there's a lot of people. So we it. need Japan to beat Canada, Argentina to beat Paraguay, and some right Vincent right. Company to beat. Some Vincent Company and this Grenadine squad could beat French Guyana. Right. Yeah. And just those wins, or do I need to score? And just the wins. Just Alrighty. <laughs> Pretty good odds for that, I reckon. Someone's got to draw around. I'll get out there. I'll get out there and do something for you. Right. Let me know in the comments. What dares are we do. talking about for Ash? I think we we GoPro him being on him actually. I'll be honest. Just nail him, yeah. Just okay. you, you got to give him a five meter head start and then do I'm him. Go but it's gonna be a walk. Yeah, I'll give right. you a chest on, so All it's right. not that mental. All right. Yeah, because walking into school with that on could might be an issue for me. I'll tell you this is a true story, by the way. So sometimes uh, uh, where we play at Paddock, we you have to use school facilities. So we used a uh, high school and we have GoPro in the change room and stuff like that. Well, one of our staff members who did get sacked, not necessarily because of this, but it certainly didn't help him, um, left a GoPro in a changing room there. The school phoned the police because there's a GoPro in a changing room. Well, well, you can look at it. You'll see what's on it. So they did an investigation. So I mean, that, I think that means they plugged it in and looked at what was on it. And then they're like, oh, you can come and get your GoPro now. But they held it as evidence. Like, get a fucking grin. No, I don't know. You, you, got, you just got to go through the procedures. So, you know. so yeah, taking a GoPro into a school. I mean, we did it on a Saturday when nobody else is there but us. But 
Yeah, you might not. You might get in trouble with but that. But if you, uh, it didn't matter. If you get them free, right? I'll you're you're, you're going to raise something in my shop without well, him knowing. <laughs> so what I'll have to do is park, get there a bit early. So that's not happening. That's an issue for me, getting to play early. <laughs> get there a bit early, linger, wait for him to park. Give him five metre head start. Wait till he's, he gets out. Then shout go. Uh, yeah. And shout just, go. And everyone's going to go. Like, yeah, and yeah. you're just, but you can't run. You've got a power walk. Okay. So it's got, you've got to get that hip movement going. But, power walk past him. Yeah. You're going to have to do a quick 360 so we can see that you actually beat him because obviously we've only got a 180 degree angle. So I'm going to have to beat him and then turn so that the audience can see that I've done So it. I think what you do is once you beat him at the imaginary finish line that you've decided on, you're going to have to do a sue towards him when you beat him. Sue. Why put more on? Because I think that's a great way to end it. I don't want to do a I can't wait to see Anthony Marshall who's got screensaver face permanently he anyway. Nah, he, he just, is. <laughs> just looking at you going... And internally, he's going, what the fuck is he doing? Didn't he used to play first? Oh, <laughs> for fun of these guys, right? Because his face ain't going to move, is it? Not at all. He goes from screensaver face to slightly irritated and back, and that is him. All right, well, just so that your results go. Oh, come on. No, you Some, attention, you? Yeah, who we got? Japan. Japan, obviously. And Vincent. And Vincent. Do you know what? One of them's in the bag. There's two that we've got to worry about. This could be fucking hilarious, right? Get your suggestions in or whatever. See a bit. Bye.